Okay guys, so I am back with a quick little tutorial and I'm gonna show you guys how to make this pin cushion um, that I made for Jean Wag's um, three-on-one challenge. Um, I just got inspired to do a mini sewing machine. I thought it would be cute. Um, and this is what it looks like. Um, really simple. I didn't want to go too crazy with lace and appliques and stuff. So I made it basically simple. So what I did was um, I needed something heavy to hold it, you know, sturdy from toppling or whatever. And so I had these um, free little floor um, samples that they give you at the Home Depot. And I took quite a few of them home. I was going to make some Christmas like um, ornaments with them because they have some of them have a really beautiful um, finish to them. So um, I didn't do nothing for Christmas, no crafts for Christmas. So I figured I would use that and it works out fine. Um, so I used that as the base and um, the material that I use to make the sewing machine is just um, fleece. <laughs> I have some fleece. I do a lot of blankets and sewing and stuff with fleece. So I had a little bit of scraps of fleece. So I figured I would use that. Um, and I just used appliques that I have in my store. Various different appliques. Um, trim that I have from my store. The bling is from my store. And I just made a stick pin as the needle. So this is also, you can lift it up. Put something um, under it if you want it. Like to look like it was sewing on something and also bling from my store so and of course the trim I don't know if I said that already but yeah the trim so let's get started what I did was I went to I forgot her name I think it's Scrap and Happy XOXOXO um, she's a lovely lady very talented um, and she made a large sewing machine that was like super beautiful, super lovely. So I took this um, template from her. And what I did was I um, screenshotted on my phone. I made it larger, the image on my phone. Screenshotted and then with the light at full brightness on my phone, my iPhone, I just traced out the pattern. So for this demonstration, I'm going to use white fleece instead of the pink. And I just tra traced around it with Sharpie, which I do not recommend that you do. Because it will show up if you don't cut it proper enough. So let's get started. And I'm using my daughter's uh, little table. Because uh, my craft room is getting painted right now. So I have to be doing things and the bedroom so I had a little table that I figured I would use it and make it life easier for me to do the little tutorial hopefully you guys can see so what we're gonna do is obviously we're gonna sew around the whole upper shape and we're gonna leave the bottom half open unsewn so we can stiffen the cotton so this is a very simple tutorial I mean I really didn't even need a tutorial you guys are so talented and smart Sure, you can figure it out one, two, three. For those of you who like recreating, so it's in the sewing machine. I forget how to use it. <laughs> so let's do some back stitching. Oh, isn't this great? Always something happens on my videos. <laughs> The needle just came out. How funny is that? I have to pop it back up in there. Okay, tighten that. I don't know why on this sewing machine it keeps getting loose. It's like very. Well, I guess I'll have to come back to that because it didn't want to go back. So I'm just gonna do it really slow.
I love how this um, brother uh, SE625 is so very quiet compared to my other sewing machine. I used to do a lot of sewing machine when my baby, a lot of sewing when my baby was asleep, and I would have to sew so very slow because the machine would just like make severe noise, sound like it was dying. So this SE is also an embroidery machine, and so far the trial with the embroidery machine, using it as an embroidery machine, is just not working out too good for me. I don't know, I just can't figure it to work right. It keeps snapping needles, it keeps breaking the thread, and then you can't like go back to where you left off or where you started. You can't like move it. I have also another embroidery machine, which is the Disney, I think it's Brother 2. And I had that one for probably like six years. So. I hardly ever used it. <clears throat> Only when I made baby blankets and stuff to personalize. And I think I like that one better than this one. Okay, so that's that. And unfortunately, I used um, black bobbin thread, which I also recommend that you don't do. Now, we're just going to cut uh, as close as possible. You don't want to have too much excess and you don't want to get too close to the, to the sewing either. Have it and now you would just turn it inside out and then stuff very generously with cotton um, try not to break up the cotton you know how you can break it up in pieces and stiff it in and um, I think it when you get to this part it's better if you just put a big piece without having it in sections because it will start to like become weak the neck okay so my dog is just having a party playing by herself with a ball she just keeps running back and forth so there we have the basic shape of a sewing machine. Now the fun part comes to stuff and decorate. So I guess I will be back in part two of this because I just realized I didn't take out cotton to stuff it for the video. So um, I'll see you in part two.